Hi, I'm Steve. I'm from the Putnam County Land Trust, and we're here at the Top Hill Preserve in Carmel, New York. And uh, today we're going to show you how to eradicate a uh, barberry plant, and we're going to show you the tools and the methods uh, to do this process. The way barberry propagates is when one of these stalks hits the ground, it'll actually re-root itself, and then a new plant will build up. A small plant like this is very easy to pull out. All you do is you wiggle it back and forth, loosen the roots, slow and easy, shake off your topsoil, recover the earth, put it on top of a branch, and you're done. The method I use to eradicate the plant is pretty simple and straightforward. I bring a five gallon bucket, I bring a pair of gloves, I bring a jar of the herbicide and I mark it poison with the skull and crossbones. I take an old plastic bottle with a paintbrush and I push the paintbrush through the cap so when it's not in use it won't touch the ground or spill. I bring a pair of small pruners, I bring a pair of large pruners, and I have a cushion handle because that's what I like. Well, uh, the barberry plant is invasive, and the little red berries is what birds and animals will eat, and then they'll spread them throughout the woods, and the plant reproduces very quickly. So to eradicate it, we have to be vigilant. We have to do it multiple times over multiple years to get the population down to a reasonable Number. Right, the first step is to push the thorny barberry out of the way so you can get in there with your hands and your tools. Cut it about five to six inches above the ground. Okay, so after you have all the clippings, move them to a rock or on top of a log to let them dry out. So when you're in the woods, only bring a small amount of the herbicide in a small jar marked poison. Make sure the lid is a tight fitting lid. Open the lid. Take your paintbrush out. Dab your paintbrush in. Shake off the excess. And begin painting the tops of the stalks. Hold the jar underneath the stalks as you move. This way if there's any small drips you'll catch some small drips. And this plant took about maybe two minutes to go. If you have some leftover leaves, you can paint some of the stalks a little bit. This is a very efficient way. Very little herbicide is used. All right, to sum up, after you've um, painted all the stems, put the leaves back, make sure your jars are tight, put it back in your, in your bucket, and you move on, and now this plant next year will not reproduce, and will continue next year to eradicate more barberry plants. Thanks very much. Thank you.